this lesson will add a title and some paragraph copy to our web page. From the previous lesson, we added text to a web page and separated those lines using break tags. To get a title into my page that would be displayed across the top of a web browser, I'm going to use the title tag. And that title tag belongs in the head element of your web page. And now within the head tag, from the previous example, I'll add a tab and create an opening and closing title tag. These two tags, and whatever I put between the two of them, will create a title element in my page. I'll type the copy, Best Ice Cream in Boston. I'll hit the pipe key, which is just above the return key on your keyboard. And the house of ice cream as a fictional company name. Now, if I save this file, or in this case, I'll save as to save a new copy in the Chapter 2 folder. We'll call this ice cream page .htm. I can preview this page in my web browser by bringing up Firefox or Internet Explorer on the PC. Sizing my browser appropriately. And then under the File menu, select Open File, and find the web page that you just created, and open it. At the top of the web browser, you should see the title element that you just created. One thing to bear in mind when you create titles, and this is really a content authoring exercise that your customers should bear in mind. When you use a search engine to search for a subject, such as Boston and ice cream, the results of that search usually appear as a list of blue links. The title tag that you put into your web page is more often than not the words that the search engine uses to create that link. Bear that in mind when you're creating title tags. Generally speaking, you want them to read like action statements and state what the purpose of the page is. In this case, Best ice cream in Boston, the house of ice cream, sounds like where I want to be when it's 90 degrees in downtown. And now I'm ready to continue working on building my web page.